Hi, my name is Stef van Buren from the Netherlands, as you may hear. Um, I'm affiliated with two organizations. Uh, one is the University of Utrecht, where I have a professorship in missing data, and the other one is the TNO, uh, Netherlands Organization of Applied Scientific Research in the Netherlands. My background is I have 25 years, more than 25 years of experience in statistics, in child health, and uh, I was once grabbed by the missing data problem early in my career and that is still uh, pre uh, present today. Uh, I've proposed uh, over the years a couple of things. Uh, I've proposed and developed the MICE algorithm, the uh, fully conditional specification idea and also the MICE software, the MICE package that you can use to impute your uh, missing data, So, which is an R package. The uh, title of my book is here, it's Flexible Imputation of Missing Data. It's a second edition, and uh, so there is also a first edition, um, which appeared in 2012. So we're now six years later, and the second edition uh, updates uh, the first edition. What is unique about it, it is fully devoted to multiple imputation, uh, which is now a widely accepted method for uh, working with your incomplete data sets. Uh, what is in the book? Uh, first of all, it's uh, a state-of-the-art description of where the field of multiple imputation now is. So starting from simple principles, uh, I explain how to do imputation if you've only one variable with missing uh, missing values, then uh, generalize to multiple uh, multiple variables, how to pull the data, how to do your analysis and pull the data. And this edition brings also uh, new chapters, one chapter on multi-level analysis, so how to impute your data uh, if, uh, if your complete data analysis is a multi-level analysis and how to uh, impute the data when you are studying causal effects. The book closes with three chapters on applications, so you can take these and then adapt these applications, uh, take the one that's closest to your problem and then adapt the applications uh, to your own data set. Um, what I've tried to do is to make it accessible for a wide audience, for practitioners. Um, so what it does, it, uh, it demonstrates how to use the MICE package. It, is four, it has 400 pages, there are 70 color figures in there. And uh, I've written the last chapter only in March this year. So it's really up to date uh, description of the state of the art in the field. You can get the full text also online and all the code that is used to produce uh, the book and the, all the figures in there. So you can, if you're interested in part, you can reproduce things exactly. When writing the book, I had three audiences in mind. Uh, the first audience is people like here on ASA, like statisticians and methodologists, uh, who are interested in knowing the state of the art in the field in multiple imputation, and perhaps want to develop new methodology based on what, uh, what I've done. The second group is, uh, are applied researchers in very diverse disciplines uh, like social science, in medicine, economics, environmental science. Uh, everywhere where there is a missing data problem, you could, uh, uh, in principle, use multiple imputation. It could be useful. And um, I've tried to make the, uh, the text accessible for that group of, uh, of people also. A third group I had in mind is the growing uh, group of data scientists uh, who do who do not produce academic papers but rather create applications based on data uh, for industry for example uh, in a consultancy context uh, uh, for artificial intelligence type of applications and these um, and this so this is my third third group if you want to uh, learn more about a principled way uh, to analyze your incomplete data then consider taking a look at this book. Uh, it's 400 pages, a state of the art. All the relevant code uh, is online. You can reproduce everything. All the text is online. It also gives you the opportunity to take part of the growing community around MICE on GitHub and uh, contribute with your uh, insights and, uh, and problems. That's it.